have a really random thing to talk about today. When I was in my parents' house, which you saw last week, I found a few things that I definitely don't want to get rid of because they're things that have some sort of emotional value to me. And one of the things I found is Ickus. I got him at uh, Paramount's King's Dominion back when it was Paramount's King's Dominion. He's my favorite of all the Nicktoon characters, and uh, I really, really loved his show when it was on. It was on in the late 90s, I think. Ah, Real Monsters. He's a monster who looks like a rabbit. And I just, I really like him because he's got anxiety. And he's a small, he's a little small guy with anxiety. And it was just funny because it brought back all these memories when I was holding him. And I was like, I guess, and I actually gave him a hug. Uh, <laughs> I'm 24 years old. I remember when I first got him, I was using my American Girl's bed as his bed. And pretending like it was his bedroom and he was staying at the monster school like they do on the show. And, um... I remembered how, when I was little, I really wanted, there was an Ickus that Nickelodeon came out with that looked just like the Ickus on the show. It looked even even more than more like him than this one. Um, and I really wanted him, and we used to go to uh, toy stores all the time to try to find him. And I think we only saw him in person once, and we didn't get him at the time for whatever reason. I was a very materialistic child. I always had these grand ventures to get toys. I mean, a lot of kids are like that, though. A lot of kids are like, I want that. I want that specific toy. And then they re they get up upset if they don't ever get it. Um, I was generally pretty spoiled, though. When I finally went to King's Dominion with my dad, when I was about 11 years old, the Girl Scouts all went to King's Dominion. I don't know how. I think we just had saved up money. It had nothing to do with being a Girl Scout. But um, we went to King's Dominion, and they had the sickest. And so... My dad got me the sickest. But yes, I am of this generation of uh, Nicktoons. Although it's funny because when Our Real Monsters was on, I was already kind of older. I wasn't... I wasn't as into Nicktoons with Our Real Monsters. When I was really little, I keep yawning. When I was really little, I was interested... I was like five, my dad and I used to watch Ren and Stimpy every day. Which is funny because that's not even really for small children, but... I think Our Real Monsters was on around the same time as Rocco's Modern Life and Hey Arnold. So it was kind of one of the later Nicktoons, but I miss it. And you can watch it on Netflix streaming, I think, but uh, I don't think they even they even sell it in stores anymore. But it brought back all these memories, so I was glad to have it guess back. Uh, I like putting things on my shoulders, but... Yes, there are certain stuffed animals that I don't want to get rid of because they bring back too many memories. And they they meant so much to me at the time that it's like if I get rid of him now, it's, it uh, devalues the fact that I really wanted him so badly. But I've been trying to find Icus for a really long time because every time I mention him when I talk about my favorite Nicktoons because it's come up on Five Girls Five Minutes before what my favorite cartoon was, I always remembered him and wished I could find him. He was on the floor underneath a pile of stuff, too. So now I've got him back, and he sleeps with me in my bed. I'm, I'm not going to get rid of him. Uh, do you have any toys like that that you really, really wanted and uh, eventually got and you can't get rid of, or stuff like that? Do you have an emotional attachment to a toy, even though you're older than uh, the age where you would normally have toys? Stuffed animals, I know, are a little different. Some people don't care about um, being older if they have stuffed animals. It depends on what they are, but uh, tell me about some of your stuffed animals in the in my pants, and I will see you on Friday. And may the fourth be with you.